about it, Gordon. Well, what was you a doing with that raincoat on? Well, Dad blamed me till I had to go to the mailbox. And I hear the weather report said there's going to be a thunderstorm. Oh, fool. That was Slim Bryant and his Georgia Wildcats just singing thunderstorms. Yeah? Yeah. I thought it kind of funny because it's pretty outside. (laughs) We didn't didn't get no mail, honey, but look at that. Western Union, Union Telegram. Oh. Father's Day greeting. Boy, you think my daughter forgot me? There it is, right there from Bonnie. Mm-hmm. There's, uh, congratulations, dear father. What does she mean, congratulations? Well, congratulating you on having such a smart daughter. You know, that's worried me a lot. It don't seem possible. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Look at the portrait she sent. June 19th is Father's Day, and although I'm far away... I'll always remember with delight when folks look at you and say you're not bright that you are my father. Ain't that sweet? Uh, I know you're lazy and don't amount to much, but with you for a father, I don't expect too much. <laughs> so, so look them in the eye, Pop. Stick out your chin and remember that without mother and me, what a mess you'd be in. <laughs> Love, Barney. Well, she sure has changed. Yeah. Do you remember how she used to act when folks would ask her if you was her father? <laughs> you think I'd forget it? <laughs> they didn't look at, they, he didn't look at me, you know. Say, is that your daddy? And she'd look at me, and then she'd start crying. Just ball her a little heart out. And, and then run and hide and pout for, pout for weeks. I she was a... She was an ugly little booger when she was born, wasn't she? You, you, oh yeah, you was her. <laughs> that blame that little booger was so ugly that the doctor didn't know which end to spank. I'm Is telling you. Is that so? <laughs> well, she was just a picture of you. Uh, she might have been a picture of me, but she sure had your soundtrack, shorty. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing? Making a Father's Day cake. Father's Day cake? Well, mm-hmm. put a lot of soda in it, hon. Well, why? Well, I'll, after I eat it, I'll have to take a big dose of it, so you <laughs> might as well put it. Hey, look, hon, there ain't no use to cook a Father's Day cake. Tomorrow's Father's Day. I know it. We won't be here. I, you know what I'm going to do? Mm-mm. Take you to Houston, Texas. Oh! Magnolia Garden. Boy, you can have a barrel of fun. But listen. I don't want you flirting with Bill and McCoy, and, and I don't want you dancing with old man Burr, Oh, he? shite. He's one of them Texas wolves. Just let, just, just let, just let, let, look, hon, just think what a good time you have tomorrow. There in that river, you can go swimming. Oh, can I? Well, on second thought, maybe you better not, hon. I t- if they ever seen you in a bathing suit, they'd know I married you for your money. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't do it. Well, all right. We can take this cake with us on the plane and eat it on the airplane. Take one of your cakes on the airplane? You know what they do, don't you? And they'd, they'd arrest us for smuggling a bomb on, on the plane. Well, you used to like my cooking all right. Huh? I can remember when you was a spark in me. Yeah. I'd go in the kitchen and make up a whole batch of pancakes. Yeah, and I'd use them to half sole my shoes, too. I <laughs> You can't cut one of them. I said drop it. I dropped one once and broke my toe. Besides, you're hurting my feelings. Hurting your feelings? Yeah. Or Right here. You've been eating some of your pancakes, that's all. Have you forgotten when you was in the Army? I used to make them pancakes for you and put them in a box and mail them to you. I know it. And you come pretty near getting me court-martialed. Well, I let some of my buddies eat eat them, and that blame there killed every one of them. That ain't so. <laughs> I know what it was. It was your cooking. You was a mess sergeant. Who was a mess sergeant? You. I'll tell you understand. I was a lieutenant major. Uh, a mess sergeant. Well, I led my quartoon. quartoon. <laughs> I, I, I led them. I remember the... Did I ever tell you about the Battle of Argonne Forest? 
See, I was in front. I said, come on, men, follow me. See, they call me the fearless one. Oh. And I was going through these woods there, and a German sniper up in the hill took a shot at me, hit me right there. But you know it didn't hurt me. Oh, I know that old joke. You're going to say the bullet hit a deck of cards and can't stop. A deck of cards? You hit one of your pancakes. <laughs> but I'll have dough by morning. I'll... <laughs> that look, honey, be careful. You, you, you just kind of accidentally spilled flour in my face. It wasn't no accident. I done it on purpose. Oh, just purpose. like that. <laughs> now look, hon, that blame it. You didn't do it like that. You took a handful of it and done it like that. Well, good. I would... Uh... <laughs> Right now, I'd like to take a moment to deliver a very important message to all Massey Ferguson dealers. Fellas, the in-season combine offer is on. Repeat, the in-season combine offer is on right now. And friends... The next sound you'll probably hear is that of your Massey Ferguson dealer sharpening his pencil. Yes, sir. When you see that Massey Ferguson dealer, tell him Eddie Arnold sent you. Well, something that sends me is a couple of kids who rapidly are growing out of the kids' stage. But as they do, their talent grows right along with them. You've seen them on many times before. You'll see them again and again. The Collins kids, Larry and Laurie. You're on. sort of a reception could turn a young girl's head. I'm not much at making introductions, but seeing how he's my brother, I'm sure he won't mind if I tell you that I think he plays just about the best guitar there is. See if you agree. Here's Brother Larry.
you get all those notes, Larry? Oh, didn't I tell you? No, oh, this boy <laughs> is a picker. Oh, thank you, Mr. Arnold. It was sure nice of you to have us on your show, especially this week. Well, uh, why this week, Larry? Well, one of my favorite singers is on. Uh, you know who she is. Oh, yeah. Betty Johnson? Betty Johnson, right. I remember listening to her first big hit song. Mm -hmm. See, what I dreamed. It was uh -huh. great. Well, now, you can just dream a little more, Larry, my boy, because Betty Johnson's about to treat you and a few million more people uh, with uh, the song that she's made so popular over the years. Here's Betty Johnson. <laughs> my throne to marry you. Cause I'd be queen of all the world the day you say that I'm your girl and every dream I dream comes true. I dreamed I was princess of Bombay, expecting my army one Monday. A thousand men came marching by, each looked like you, each winked his eye. my throne to marry you. I'd be queen of all the world the day you say that I'm your girl and every dream I dream comes true. <laughs> You're taller with the heels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miss Betty Johnson, it seems so good to have you. Like Thank old you. times. Like old times. Didn't we have fun making that film series of yours? So oh, we did. I couldn't forget it. <laughs> do you remember a song we did called One? You mean O-N-E-1? That's right. I do. Should we sing it for the people? Well, if Slim, would you, uh, Slim Wilson would join us. Yeah, All right. <laughs> From Johnson and Arnold, we turn to Massey Ferguson and a parade of power that'll make any farmer's heart glad he watched. We'd like to talk to you about combines. Self-propelled combines. Big, powerful, self-propelled combines. Made by Massey Ferguson. Item, more custom combine operators use these Massey Ferguson grain field giants than any other make. 
fight them. Massey Ferguson makes and sells more self-propelled combines than any other manufacturer in the world. Item, Massey Ferguson only makes the combines. You and farmers and ranchers like you have made them the world's harvest champions. Over the years, you've watched them in action, talked with the men who own them, compared them by every yardstick. Performance, efficiency, capacity. Bushels per hour, acres per day. Dependability, economy, comfort. Yes, you've compared them. You've bought them. You've used them on family-sized farms, out across the horizon-wide western wheatlands, wherever there's a harvesting job to be done better, faster. They're setting the performance pace. And leadership that can produce an engineering marvel like this is the reason why these combines are the standard by which all other combines are judged. So if you own one, you know you own the finest. If you don't own one, don't you think you should? You know, tomorrow is Father's Day across this great land of ours. And in recognition of that uh, day, I'd like to sort of change the course. Usually at this point, we'd sing a Father's Day song. We we're gonna change a little and sing a song which shows what being a father means. You're an angel from heaven sent down from above. Your daddy's little boy to heaven to love. Boy of mine, you're a fine little laddie. You're the world to your mommy and daddy. You're a good so much for being our guest. This is Eddie Arnold for our sponsor, Massey Ferguson. Say, thanks so much for looking in. Be good, everybody. Next week, Johnny Horton and Frankie Miller visit here on Jubilee USA. An every week presentation of Massey Ferguson and the great nationwide family of Massey Ferguson dealers. Star, leave it around, leave